Parade-goers and tourists from around the globe descended upon Pasadena Tuesday, January 3rd, for a final peek at the larger-than-life floats that played starring roles in the 2023 Rose Parade. Float Fest, a two-mile, two-day showcase of floats fresh off their world-famous appearance in the Rose Parade, traditionally marks an unofficial conclusion to the Tournament of Rose's year-long parade season. Nearly 70, 000 people is in Float Fest every year. This year, attendees were accompanied by towering dragons, stirring wildlife scenes and tributes seen in motion on Colorado Boulevard and on TV less than 24 hours before. Some longtime visitors argue the festival is better than Parade Day because, up close, with floats not in motion, is the only way one can appreciate the fine craftsmanship that goes into constructing the custom made floats every year. The 2023 Tournament of Roses Royal Court Float featured five OOO flowers, including white and pink mums, pink roses, white and pink carnations, and raised roses. The items are easily found in everyday life, but on Tuesday, even princesses from the royal court found it hard to resist grabbing a keepsake from the memorable float, which is surprisingly allowed, since the natural materials have finished their five. Five-mile procession down Colorado Boulevard. I want to remember the special day, said Rose Queen Bella Ballard, who was spotted with a couple of souvenir flowers in hand early in the morning on Tuesday. It was an exciting day filled with a lot of great emotions, she said, standing in front of A. Pointing out the fine lines of apples and potatoes that were precisely placed all around City of Burbank Float, which won the Queen Award for Most Outstanding Presentation of Roses, Todd just marveled at the creations nearby. I'm just amazed at the detail that these float volunteers and all. The artistry and the expertise, I'm just blown away by it. He wasn't alone as the shining sun illuminated the steel framing, seeds, and, of course, the trademark florals, that comprise the components of this year's award-winning creations. Fellow Float Fest attendee Lisa Vernaldo couldn't help but snap a picture next to There's No Place Like Home Float during Float Fest at Victory Park. It's different if it's on TV, Vernaldo said, because you can feel and you can see how fresh the flowers are. With the sun setting and visitors heading home, volunteers and float builders ready to slice up metal frames and pluck thousands of recyclable floral vials for next year's blooms.